I'm so excited! But let's keep it together. At least until the first death. So, sidesteppers on the line, eh? Well, that should complicate matters. But not by too much, because we do have... Crap. Let's see. So if he goes in here, then we'd still need someone. There. Which would be a 3 plus dodge, so that's kind of okay. Let's see, who's here? Starting off with a frenzy might actually be tough. So I'd need a 3 plus 4 plus in here. If you put his three guys together, this would be fairly easy. Crap. <clears throat> oh, I forgot about three guys on the line. That was uh, that was really really dumb. Wasn't thinking. Okay, okay, that might make a bit of a difference. Oh, oh, uh, right. Quick snap, huh? Okay. Thanks. Don't screw this up now. Dream and blocks in here. I still need to do it this way though. But this helps a bunch, I guess. <sighs> wow. And we still have these two squares occupied. Which means we pretty much need him here. But we do still have our blitz. So one guy will still have to dodge in there afterwards. Which is kind of okay. Dreamin blocks in here. So, Dreamin doesn't push. Dreamin loner fails. Oh, wait! Oh, dodge isn't optional! Ah! Uh. Well, that was dumb. Well done. Ah, that was really dumb. I'm not going to be in less than one tackle zone anyway. So, oh, I could have still had a reroll if I thought this through.
Well, fuck. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, what happened here? Uh, in real Blood Bowl, dodge is optional, which means if I roll pow push on the tree, my opponent chooses not to use dodge. My chance at a one turn ends. But Blood Bowl Two doesn't allow you to choose not to uh, not to use dodge, <clears throat> which means. I could have just picked the power push. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.